While enthusiasts are mostly anticipating the upcoming RTX 4090 and 4080 cards from Nvidia, they are definitely going to be huge in terms of price and power draw. RTX 4050 on the other hand is expected to be a slightly cut down variant of the high end 40 series cards that will be more affordable while consuming less power. In this video, we will talk about everything we know about the upcoming RTX 4050 to help you decide whether you should settle for this instead of the expensive ones. So without further ado, let's dive in. Taking a look back at the RTX 3050, it utilized both the GA106 and GA107 graphics chips. Judging by this, Nvidia may also go through the same approach with the upcoming RTX 4050 where we will see two variants of this card, one with the 8106 and the other with the 8107. According to Tech Power Up, RTX 4050 might feature 8GB of GDDR6 VRAM coupled with 3840 CUDA cores and 48 ROPs based on a 128-bit memory bus. Keep in mind that this is for the 8106 model as the 8107 will possibly get a minor spec bump. Comparatively, the current RTX 3050 has 2560 CUDA cores and 32 ROPs while the VRAM and memory bus are the same as the reported RTX 4050 card. As Nvidia plans to use TSMC's 4nm node for the upcoming RTX 4050, we can expect the memory clock to run between 2.0 to 3.0 GHz as per WCC FTX reporting. If that indeed turns out to be true, we are looking at 14 teraflops of theoretical FP32 performance which is significantly higher than the RTX 3050's and even RTX 3060's 13 teraflop performance level. RTX 3050 was priced at around $250 at launch and we can expect a similar price tag for the upcoming 4050 as well. But however, due to the current situation of the GPU scenario and competition being heated up due to Intel's entry into the market, price estimation makes no sense for these upcoming next-gen cards. As for the release date, we want to refer back to the Twitter leaks Copite 7 Kimi's claim of the RTX 40 series arriving mid of July. As we arrive closer and closer to Nvidia's next biggest launch, all of the speculations and rumors are soon to get cleared. There's no doubt that the GPU segment is riddled with competition now with Intel's entry and AMD launching more and more affordable cards. If Nvidia plays its card right by focusing on both price and performance, it can lure plenty of gamers and tip the scale of competition towards them. With RTX 40 series getting launched, the previous cards will have a discounted price, making the upgrade slightly viable for us enthusiasts. We will be back again with more updates on the RTX 4050 as soon as it comes in stock. So, that was all about the upcoming RTX 4050. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and comment below to let us know your thoughts. Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon if you want to see more videos like this on your feed.